All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, today we're going to be talking about the underhook knee cut, the flying knee cut, popularized by Leandro Lowe and Andrew Wiltsey. One of my favorite knee cuts to do, you can get it from anywhere. And it's really effective because as long as there's a little bit of a space for the underhook, you can fly into it. And it's really like a dynamic move and it's probably my favorite knee cut. And I'd say it's one of the most dangerous knee cuts because if you're not ready for it, if that space is a little, little bit open, you can get past in a second. So let's look at how to set it up. So my favorite way to do it is from De La Hiva. You can do it from even single leg X. Pretty much any time you see the underhook, it's gonna work. So what I like to do, I like to step into De La Hiva. Okay, it's a passing strategy that we might use if you're comfortable passing from De La Hiva like I am. And I know this pass is available, so I have to um, think about when I step in, what passes I'm gonna do. If you don't have a plan, don't step into De La Hiva. Just try and avoid it, okay? But if we're looking to underhook, underhook knee cut, let's do it from De La Hiva. So as soon as I walk in, I wanna make sure that I'm framing on his knee. If I'm not, he's gonna start playing De La Hiva, off balancing me, turning me, starting to take my back. So as soon as I walk in, I frame on his knee, okay? And I kinda like turn my knee out and I point my toes out. So I wanna make sure that I'm not, my foot isn't far away like this. Now he has a lot of torque with his knee on De La Hiva. So I make sure to toe walk away, turn my toes away, and I point my knee out and I push. Okay, now his De La Hiva is not as effective. All right, and from here, I can um, start playing and looking for the underhook. So the way that I set up the underhook, okay, is I push down. As I push down, it creates more space. It kind of traps his arm and reveals that space and keeps it there, okay? So once I start to push down here and have a bit of pressure, I want to step over this foot, okay? T to do a knee cut successfully, I need his foot in between my legs. If it's outside, obviously I can't knee cut, okay? So I step in, all right, I push the knee, Okay, and I kind of hold the shin and I like feed it into headquarters and I can pinch like this, okay? You're just gonna make sure they don't grab your second leg, all right? So you can like monitor his hand. And then when you're ready, okay, we're going to grab the inside of the knee, all right? This is gonna launch us forward. And it's also gonna be useful for us to like open that space to knee cut. All right, so from this position, once we like pull open and push down, we see our underhook, we're gonna aim our knee for like the floor here. And the thing is with the underhook knee cut, it's not, um, like slow and controlled, it's actually really fast. I'm trying to land our hips kind of on his upper body and it's the underhook that keeps us um, attached to him. So once we're here, we push down to reveal the underhook, we peel open to create a path and then when we're ready, we're gonna drop our knee to the ground. At the same time, we're gonna get the underhook and we're really trying to get like our head there and our hips like next to his right, left shoulder. So here, and we base here, all right? And now we're quite heavy on his upper body, okay? He can move, but I'm in a good position to follow. Like maybe I can come around to his back. Okay, that's very common. But that knee cut, it's very accessible. So how would it look like? He's on his back, okay? I step in, I have my control, okay? I trap, okay? He's trying to off balance me, but I have good pressure in this position. I see the opening and I hit my knee cut, all right? Hope you guys enjoyed that. The Leandro Lowe knee cut, rest in peace. Um, one of my favorite ways to pass. Um, if you like dynamic passing and um, you like knee cuts, definitely one that you must master. If you enjoyed this, subscribe for more. Thanks.